hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from candice owens and it's titled candice owen destroys mega marco's new podcast you guys i'm excited for this and if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about happy vibes who do we get them from megan <laughs> the Duchess of Sussex. Yep, her and Prince Harry have landed a new podcast deal after parting ways with Spotify. And that is amazing because Spotify lost so much money on them. And you remember one of the executives came out and said they quite literally have no talent. But worse wow. than that, they don't want to work. Yeah. Never, ever in the history of the world has there been a couple that has grifted as hard and as successfully as they have, right? You just grifted off of your family, haven't really done anything since. You keep getting awards. You keep getting these deals. I don't understand it. And the brand that they keep going into is this idea that Megan is a feminist, she's a true feminist, and that's why she's being awarded by Gloria Steinem, what she's just a brave woman. And yeah, I, I don't understand why Megan her podcast, her original one, didn't take off. I've listened to it. I definitely would want to listen to this every single day of my life if there were more episodes. Let's just take it back to her old podcast that was on Spotify called Archetypes. Mm. When I was 14... I planned my wedding. Not my actual wedding. That would have been a bit harder to imagine. This wedding was an assignment for my Religion two class in Catholic school. At no point could you say, nope, mm -mm. my dream for the future is to be single. The message, even at my feminist all-girls school, was as traditional as it gets. First comes love, then comes marriage. It was stunning, brave. I don't know what that podcast executive was talking about. She's amazing. I love her, which is why it makes perfect sense that another company has approached her. She has landed a new deal. This is obviously less than a year after Spotify said, mm, no, we're good. You are losing us money. Well, Spotify, that's kind of your fault because it's pretty obvious that these two are only good at selling their family um, under the, throwing their family under the bus. And Megan has released a statement about this new partnership. It is with Lemonada, and they're going to stream archetypes. Yeah, they're going to handle all of the ad sales and the distribution. And, and remember, she had tons of people on to talk about this feminism. She had Mariah Carey, Mindy Kaling, and now they, they're going to take this on. Megan released this statement. I am proud to now be able to share that I am joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting, mm. being able to support a female-founded company with a roster of thought-provoking and highly entertaining podcasts. It's a fantastic way to kick off 2024. Our plan to re-release archetypes so that more people can now have access to it, as well as launching a dynamic new podcast are well in the works. I'm so eager to be able to share it soon, and I'm overjoyed to be joining the Lemonada family. Yeah, she, she's not even going to do any work in the beginning. She's just going to re-release what she already did. And then I'm sure she's eager to do more, but the financial terms of a deal were obviously not disclosed. Lemonada probably just wants to get their name on the map. They're taking a chance. And I'm going to guess it's not going to pan out that well because people want to listen to something that sounds real. They don't want to be lectured about feminism. They don't want to be lectured about what they're doing wrong. They don't want to be told the patriarchy is all around them. And, oh, yes, remember when you were in high school and people were like, get married? Yeah, I do remember. It's an, as it's an aspirational goal. Yes, getting married and starting a family is aspirational. Stop trying to convince us to do the opposite yeah. when you did exactly that. You got married, found yourself a prince, and pimped your way into Hollywood, which is where you always wanted to be why are you but, guys i don't know what mega marco is going to talk about on that new podcast with lemonada because the only thing i feel she is going to talk about is how the royal family are uh, racist towards her mega marco wouldn't stop talking about the royal family yet she wouldn't stop benefiting from it at the same time do you think that Mega Marco partnering with Lemonada is going to make wave in the podcast world or is totally going to be a flop? Let me know in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys. Stop. Let me stop. Well, we'll cover this obviously extensively when her new podcast that she's probably not going to do it hits the market. So I'm really proud of Americans. It seems like a lot of us are waking up 
to the understanding that our mainstream media is just possessed with propaganda. They're just state media. That's the way to think of it. This is the CIA elects them into these positions of power behind the scenes, and their job is to condition the way that we as Americans think. And this clip, by the way, which is making the rounds, I have to show you what I'm speaking about. It is just so gross in terms of the adoration, the fawning over Zelensky when quite literally they were just trying to convince us to be totally chill with getting to work and sending more and more billions, trying to make you think he was a hero fighting for democracy. Yeah, this is CNN's Erin Burnett. She has an opportunity to sit down with Zelensky and ask him questions. And, and here's what she was concerned with. Take a listen. As a human being, so many people look up to you. They rely on you. No one can imagine how hard that is. Do you do, you do anything for your to yourself? Are you ever able to take a minute to, to read or to listen to music or something to sort of give yourself that uh, a moment? I have such moments, important, to be in silence, to be alone. Alone? Uh, how can I be alone? Alone, I can be with music. What music do you like? Oh, I like ACDC and Ukrainian music. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I like Ukrainian music a lot of because uh, Ukrainian, that's native language. That's why you understand not only music, you understand the words and etc. ACDC, I don't understand all the words <laughs> <laughs> because of... But you like the so music. It's just incredible. It's like she's quite literally trying to date him. She's... Oh, so many people rely on you. Like, what kind of music do you listen to? And how do you find time for you? Could you imagine if when Tucker was interviewing Putin, he asked any of those questions? Like, so many people rely on you, Mr. Putin. What kind of music do you listen to? It's, it's just such a joke. And it's so obvious. And to be clear, that interview was from last year, July 2023. But I'm showing it to you now because it seems that since then there has been this mass awakening. There's a lot of corruption happening in Ukraine. And those of us who have had the courage to talk about it and expose it and people say, why is it relevant? Because we're sending you money. I, I'm already aware that Putin is corrupt. We're not sending him billions of dollars. All right. There is, as I believe it in the way that I see it, a mass execution of Christians that are happening in Ukraine. Christians should be upset about this. We should be asking questions. It seems like they're just clearing out the region under the guise of fighting an unwinnable war with Russia. There is something that I have said is giving me Bolshevik vibes. Go back and watch our episode talking about what the Bolshevik revolution was. There's something about Zelensky that is not sitting right with me because we control him. And it seems to me that there is an ethnic cleansing that has taken place. But lo and behold, you guys, uh, a network that claims to be independent, which obviously it's not independent if you're allowed to be in Ukraine and be reporting any types of news, it's because you are operated by the state. They are shutting down churches. He has uh, Zelensky has put his opponents on in house arrest, right? Saying I, you're not even going to compete with me. He suspended election. It's giving dictator. It's giving psychopath. We should not be funding this psychopath. Path. But Vox, claiming to be completely independent, decided to release what is being referred to as a network of pro Rosh of pro Russian, pardon, disinformation in the West, and they've released twenty six individuals. It's it's really stunning. Uh, just to give you some honorable mentions here, Tucker Carlson, of course, because he went over and talked to Putin. That means automatically he's engaged in disinformation because you should not be allowed to hear from the other yeah. person in this war. You're not smart enough, ladies and gentlemen. Only. Aaron Burnett is smart enough to interpret the news for you. Um, John Mearsheimer, shocking that he's made that list. You've got Jimmy Dore on this list. You've got Russell Brand on this list, which is just so confusing to me. Like Russell Brand is, is so much peace and love. He's so happy, but they put him on this list because basically if you are not accepting their narrative, then you should be on the list, which is why I am offended. I'm offended. I said on this show, right when the war broke out, that if there was one person that I could punch in the face and get away with, it would be President Zelensky. And I have held to that firmly. They circulated that clip. They wrote news articles. Candace says she would punch Zelensky in the face. Yeah, right, right, right. I just right in the face a couple of times. Jab him. That's what I would do. And yet they did not put me on this list. <laughs> Why, well, you guys? Candace Owens is so funny. And let me know what you guys think about the American government sending millions and billions of dollars to ukraine despite what is going on here despite the fact that more and more christians are being killed every single day let me know your thoughts on this one leave it in the comment section and let's wrap this video up you guys ridiculous
really, because these obviously are the individuals that are engaged in disinformation. Now, lo and behold, if you look at the news today, it's wall-to-wall coverage about the fact that somebody that Putin imprisoned, his rival, um, Alexei Navalny, you may have heard about him, there were the allegations that he was poisoned when he was in the UK UK, uh, by the honchos of Vladimir Putin, and then they put him in prison up in Siberia, and it has been reported that he has died, that he collapsed while he was walking. And so there is very obviously a lot of suspicion that this was something that was done that was barbaric and awful and that they did this intentionally to kill him as a rival for speaking out against Vladimir Putin, which is not allowed in these sorts of regimes. And of course, that is awful and that is wrong and it deserves coverage. But, or and, we should be covering the corruption of Zelensky with just as much vigor. And they don't do that, right? They didn't even cover the fact that an American journalist was killed in the exact same fashion, put into a prison because he criticized, while he was in Ukraine, he criticized Zelensky and the Biden regime. And what did they do? They put him into prison and then he died mysteriously. Just weeks after his dad went on Tucker Carlson and said, they are going to kill my son, please help. The mainstream media didn't cover this, they didn't care. Nope, they don't care. Because their narrative is to say that everything Zelensky does is good. Two things can be true at once. I don't know why people think it's always got to be a villain and a hero story. There can be multiple villains, but we are only funding one of those villains. And he is mass murdering Christians, taking them off of the street and sending them to the front lines to die in a war that he cannot win. Okay? And he is also, as I have said, I think, conditioning us to accept an ethnic cleansing in that region. President Zelensky is a monster. That is my point. Okay? And doesn't mean that Vladimir Putin is good. Two things can be true at once. Hey guys, if you like this video, you will definitely like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Candice Owen. She really said nothing but the truth here because it's about time America stopped funding Ukraine. There are so many things that Americans can use fund for, but instead they are being ignored and all their tax pay money are being sent over to Ukraine. Let me know what your thoughts are on this particular video. I really enjoyed listening to Candice Owens. She said nothing but the truth. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.